All right, I'll throw my two cents in on this. Um, the whole Israel, Hamas, Palestine thing, I originally made a video about this and I deliberately didn't mention the word Palestine because um, I just I, I, I think that it's just a fantasy that will never come true at this point. I in I, a perfect world, if I had the magical way to snap my fingers and make things be, I would have Palestine exist and give up a lot of Israel's land to do so. But I, I, I think that it's just a pipe dream, a fairy tale, a, a fairy tale as, as rich as the Old Testament is. Oops, sorry, did I say that out loud? Anyway, um, what is going on right now and the support behind Israel? Now, I, I don't want to get lost in the message here of saying Israel has taken things way too far and they really need to step back. <laughs> but did you see what Hamas did, Archfiend? Did you see that they killed children, babies, people at some music festival? They surrounded the place and started shooting and taking hostages. Who knows what's happening to those hostages? What if one of those hostages, hostages was your wife or your kids? What would you be saying then? I get that. I hear all that. But do you know what else I get and hear and see? Entire buildings being leveled in the Gaza Strip right now. Now, people are going to say, like, well, that's just retaliatory fire. If missiles start shooting off towards Israel, Israel is just firing back at whatever building. That... The Gaza Strip is so densely populated that detonating bombs, shooting bombs, whatever, however you're getting the, the armaments there to bring down an entire building. You're killing so many innocent civilians. Oh, they all grew up to be terrorists. So shut up with that. Shut up with that. Bomb I ran next. Oh, shut up. If you seriously are going to tell me with a straight face that you think that the people in the, in the West Bank and the Gaza Strip... They all have hate for the Jews in their heart, and they're going to grow up to be terrorists that just want to kill Jews. The majority of people that live, like, let, let, let me just let me just cue you into something here, in case you don't know. The majority of people in a country like Iran, in Syria, in the West Bank, in the Gaza Strip, they just want to live their damn lives. Okay. They may not rally as much as we want them to to speak out against groups like Hamas or the Taliban and stuff like that. Because, you know, they just, they just want to live their lives. The majority of people in America just want to live their lives. They don't care who's elected president. They just want to live their life. Hey, just don't, don't, don't mess with my life. Just let me raise a family. Let me, I don't know, work my job as a plumber. Just a, a, any of trivial things that we take for granted here in a place like America. And the whole thing is just one big shit sandwich that should have never been made by the restaurant to begin with. And that's what pisses me off more than anything else is that this is all a result of one of the most cataclysmically stupidest decisions in the history of the Western world. And yes, the Western world... Sorry, I'm spitting like a fiend here. <laughs> Arch fiend. Anyway. The creation of Israel. Oh, Arch, are you trying to say that, that uh, there shouldn't be a land for the chosen people? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, as they say in real estate, location, location, location. That is one of the most piss poor locations that you could have chosen on God's green earth. On Allah's green earth. God. Why? Why? You know, I, 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 I get that it was after World War I. The colonizing power of that region is the, it was the United Kingdom. And I, 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 I see a lot of dirt getting kicked England's way whenever it becomes the whole creation of Israel thing. It's like, oh, well, you know, they, they, England was the one that, that colonized that area and that said they promised, they promised to the Jews uh, a creation of the state of Israel. 
I mean, can you say with a straight face that if America wasn't the colonizing power there or France or any other country wasn't the colonizing power that they wouldn't have done the same damn thing? So, without any extra mudslinging on the UK here, the creation of Israel came about basically because no one else wanted Jews. Like, let's just cut to the cut to the meat of the matter here. No one else wanted the Jews. And specifically, this all got turned up near the end of World War I, and it got turned way up during World War II for obvious reasons. Because after World War II was done, and the camps were liberated, and any other Jews that were held captive were set, set to, you know, roam the land... They weren't wanted back in Poland or Germany or France, where they came from. Hell, hell look at America, the Lady Liberty, Staten Island, uh, and Staten Island. Um, oh God, why am I forgetting the name of the island next to um, the <laughs> Statue of Liberty? Uh, Ellis Island. Jesus Christ, what a great American! What a great uh, of an American I am. Can't remember the name Ellis Island. You know, hey, bring us your tired, your weak, your dirty, your poor, and all that rah rah shit. Oh man, you want to see something that's that's really backing up that whole sentiment of America? And come on in. Look up the story of the St. Louis during World War II. That was a boat packed to the rim with European Jews that were trying to flee the Third Reich, but America just said. No, 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 currently not accepting Jews right now. And then they had a last dish, last dish effort to plead to Canada. Can we come to Quebec? Canada was like, no, hell no. Fun fact, Canada allowed the least amount of Jews per capita compared to any other nation Well, during World War II. But anyway. So anyways, the St. Louis was turned right back around. You know what happened to the Jews and that were on the St. Louis, they were put in concentration camps. Okay. That, that's Amer that, that's America's heritage and great role during this time of where the state of Israel and why it had to come to be because no one wanted the Jews. And like, I, just, I, I can remember even being a kid just saying like, why didn't in America, why didn't they just carve off a part of, I don't know, Idaho somewhere. I don't know. Just anywhere. You'd be like, oh, yeah, okay, just give up land for people that aren't even from there. Like, they created all the internment camps for the, the Japanese Americans. They, they magically found land for that. Oh, we're trying to say the Jews should have been put in camps. I don't think they were really interested in being put in camps. No. Obviously, the Japanese Americans, which at the time seemed like the right thing to do, it was seen as right and proper to get them out of American society because one, you couldn't take a chance; two, you couldn't take a chance. You couldn't take a chance that they were working for you know the motherland, or two, that they were going to be sought after by Americans, taking retribution against Pearl Harbor, getting bombed in Iwo Jima, and all that other shit. So. I, I, you know, you just magically create land and areas to store tens of hundreds of thousands of people. You're trying to tell me that America couldn't step up and, and, and do that for the Jews that had no place to go when World War II wrapped up? That couldn't accept all the Russian Jews that were being killed left and right by Stalin under his tyranny? Like, America was sitting pretty outside of Pearl Harbor. We weren't bombed into the Stone Age like a, a, the a majority of the countries in Europe and Russia were. Uh, it, it's just so infuriating to see that we're back to war in the Middle East, centering around Israel, and it's not going to stop because... The Jews aren't going anywhere. I'm not expecting them to go anywhere. I'm not expecting Palestine to magically apparate out of thin air and be a thing again. But man, it is just... And Netanyahu and his current regime are just so far-right conservative that they'll do whatever at this point. And... I'm not going to sit here and say, like, you know, 
no revenge should be sought after or extracted, but man, leveling entire buildings when Israel has such a might of brute force skill and boots that they could put on the ground to just strategically raid cities instead of just bombing from above, just carpet bomb the entire city block. That'll teach them. Because I see, and I'm going to speak to this from a vantage point that some people might not be able to as a father with children. When I see Palestinian parents carrying their either unconscious or dead children out of wreckage, I, as a father, say, what would I do if I was that Palestinian? If I was that Arab, Iranian, whatever, what have you, that just saw my entire building that I lived in bomb because Hamas shot some rockets off the top of it towards Israel. And those Hamas guys probably just (laughs) headed for Dodge, just got out of there. The second they popped those rockets off, they probably controlled them remotely. What would I do if I was a parent of a kid that was killed in a circumstance like that? Like I said, the majority of these people just want to live their lives. They just want to be a plumber, a teacher, a do-gooder, a family raiser. But I'll tell you what, if anyone dropped a damn bomb on my residence and killed my children, I'm coming for revenge. How many people have revenge in their hearts now? All these bombs dropping, Hamas carrying out acts like they are against Israel. Oh shit, what is the future going to look like now, Israel? It's a shame because I, 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 I both feel bad for the Jews in that They ultimately got kicked out of the land and had to live under what is the most heinous tyranny that we know of, which is the Third Reich in in Nazi Germany. Because like as bad as Hamas is, I mean, the Jews can say they lived under the Third Reich and that's kind of that's kind of hard to argue and say like, oh, my people had it worse. I don't know about that. But anyways, that, that that's if people want to split hairs in that argument, then fine. Because I, I I I try to look at things as objective as objectively as possible, and I go like, man, there are so many instances that Israel has every right to do something. Because I say, what what are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do when? Every nation around you declares war and invades you. And then six days later, you quadruple the size of your land because you fought back and took the Sinai Peninsula, took the West Bank, took Gaza, took parts of Jordan within six days. I mean, Israel is so freaking powerful compared to its neighbors that have a problem with them that I, 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 as, as the saying goes... In the comic book world, with great power comes great responsibility. And just carpet bombing and leveling entire buildings for what? Getting maybe a few Hamas operatives, but in the meantime, you killed a a dozen plus women and children and fathers and just everyday Joe Schmo workers. You cut off the food and water supply to the entire Gaza Strip right now. You have them surrounded. You you have their their coast guarded so they can't get food or supplies in through the Mediterranean Sea. I mean, honestly, the only there's one of two ways that this ends is Israel kills every single one of its neighbors or Israel leaves. And I ask you, I ask you, do you you honestly think any one of those two things are ever going to happen? I mean, even, even if the, the might of every Middle Eastern neighbor there got together and went after Israel, Israel would still kick its ass. And even if they were getting their ass 
kicked to the point that they had, you know, one last effort to pull out, they're going to drop nukes. So uh, bye-bye Iran, bye-bye Jordan, Syria, Egypt. They haven't forgot about you. You're gone too. So it's like you can't even you can't even back Israel into a corner here, like, and I'm uh, I'm I'm sure all those Arab nations know know that it's like you know we can only push Israel too far because we're going to get effed up if we do. Anyways, this is just it's something that's been you know going on for seventy plus years, and it it it, it the sad thing is it's it's not going to stop. I mean the the, the Israelis aren't leaving. And they're going to keep they're going to keep extracting revenge. They're going to keep bulldozing houses and stuff like that. And it... see that that that's where like I'm so torn on the 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 vantage point of the Israelis and what they should do because it's like, yeah, well, I, I don't care how big and strong you are. Sometimes when little people keep hitting you, you got to hit one of those little people back. You can't just you can't just keep taking harassment. You can't just keep taking your people getting killed. But then you have to say is like, well, how many more harassers are you breeding with your current efforts and way of life? I just my my, my mind is blown with how dark things can get. Because I don't even think we've scratched the surface with how maniacal Hamas can get and how extracting the revenge from Israel can get. Like, it's it, it's it's at the point where I'm I, I'm trying to bounce in my mind. Well, what what could be worse? I don't know. I don't know because Hamas obviously has no qualms. Israel has at least a check of taking things too absolutely far. And I, I don't know why America hasn't really come down and said, okay, this is enough right now, okay? You're, you're the cutting off of Gaza Strip from all resources of life and leveling tire buildings. Go in on foot if you have to, to find all the Hamas individuals. You have the manpower and resources to do that pretty expeditiously. But all I hear is the support Israel, support Israel. And I support Israel in many ways as well. But man, things are going too far right now. Way too far. Anyway, a number of people have asked for my thoughts on this. My, my original thoughts are just completely changed from what Israel is continuing to do right now. And I don't know. What say you? People... Jewish people from around the world are flocking to Israel right now to, you know, to defend the Holy Land. All for a fairy tale. I'm sorry if that offends you, but people like me see so much of this stuff is all in the defense of a freaking fairy tale. That is all. <laughs>